Well, my name is Gemma. Um, I have recently graduated from industrial design engineering. And well, my idea is to present Photodermis, which was my final degree project. And well, before anything, I just wanted to thank you for inviting me to be here and just to present my project. Uh, so wait, my project, wait, it doesn't, no. Okay, my project, uh, the challenge uh, is based on the study of material, of the study of material properties of smart things in terms of assessing the possibilities of obtaining renewable energies from organic systems. Uh, from this challenge, uh, there are three keywords for me, which led me to the um, acknowledge of photovoltaic dyes or photosensibilizers, which are the materials that, well, my project is basically um, um, based on. So there was, a, a, well, I'm going to explain like the process of the development of the project. So it started with a, a research, but a theoretical one uh, about understand, understanding, understanding of these uh, smart dyes, which are normally used in a type of solar cells to generate energy from like harvesting. This is like the structure of these type of solar cells, which are called dye sensitive solar cells. And also its functionality. And these cells working with this type of dyes uh, have this, well, the special fact that um, the dye can be, can be made natural, which is not normally happening in these like areas of science. And in fact, in the last 10 years, uh, there have been an increasing number of publications about um, the use of natural dyes for this type of cells. However, the research was not only important to be theoretical, but also experimental. And this is why I developed some first dyes in the laboratory. I not only made them from like organic materials, but also for um, organic waste. So I developed some uh, dyes made from orange peels and pulp, and also dyes made from coffee waste. And I like tested every dye by putting them in this, uh, well, in the structure of the solar cell. I just uh, characterize them, uh, obtaining some photovoltaic values, so I could understand which of the dyes that I developed uh, performed better. And um, in this case, the the best dye I did was one made from coffee waste with acetone and water. And from here, I just felt I had the the knowledge to continue developing my project. It was a very speculative one because the energy obtained were uh, very little, so I had to like uh, design or generate an alternative and plausible uh, scenario where I could like contextualize and understand my project. And we're not gonna get into all this um, map, but it's important to know that the project was developed from a degrowth perspective and from an ecocentrism point of view. And in these terms and talking about renewable energy, um, I couldn't understand uh, the, well, the, um, the like, uh, the, for example, these uh, huge solar farms that are nowadays in the world uh, to take renewable energy, which are colonizing huge spaces of land that maybe doesn't belong, don't belong to us. So this is why my proposal uh, is like an energy system as a garment, understanding that the body is maybe the only um, substrate that belongs to us, so I can design for. And also I uh, innovate in a way that I propose the cells to be flexible, but compostable. They are normally made from glass or PET uh, polymer in case you want these cells to be uh, flexible, but I develop them with a biopoly uh, biopolymer. So they are compostable. And in fact, I made like, I develop uh, an, well, an environmental impact uh, calculation where I could see how a general proposal of this type of cells made of a uh, pet could have a huge uh, impact in comparison with the cells made from the materials I proposed. And just to finish, I uh, wanted to talk about like how the product uh, just uh, was conceptualized in the, in, just to finish it. I understand that uh, talking about fashion or garments in these days with the technologies that we have nowadays, I had to talk about modularity, personalization, and the product had to be repairable, genderless, and also developed with digital fabrication techniques, etc.
and that's it. Uh, thank you very much and hope you liked it. <laughs>